Today we're going to be reviewing part number RP66542. This is the Reese weight distribution system. It's going to include a shank as well as the hitch pin and clip to get the shank secured inside of your hitch. This system is designed to evenly distribute weight over the axles of the tow vehicle and trailer for stability and control. It's going to create a more level ride for both the tow vehicle and the trailer. It's going to feature the trunnion spring bar design, so these are going to be hot rolled and tapered for superior strength and flexibility. So the bars will flex appropriately over uneven terrain for a nice controlled even ride. It's got the curved ends as well that are designed for use with a dual cam sway control system. It's going to be sold separately with part number RP26002. The spring bar tension can be adjusted simply by switching the links in the lift chains. That's going to allow you to fine tune the system for your particular application. And you're also going to be able to get the desired tilt that you need with the serrated washer design here on the head assembly and the hardware. So I'm going to flip it around and show you that real quick. So you got the two large washers up here. They have teeth on the inside of them. That's going to allow it to dig into the teeth on the head of the weight distribution system. And so that's going to allow it to tilt and you're going to be able to get the desired angle for your particular towing application. And then once you get the angle that you need, all you got to do is tighten up the hardware. Those teeth are going to interlock with one another and it's going to hold it in place. So that's going to eliminate the need to have uh, having to pile on washer after wa washer like you used to have to to get the desired tilt that you need for your particular application. So that's a great system to have in place. It's also going to feature the forge raised ball platform on the head so that's going to eliminate the need for a raised hitch ball. Uh, it's going to come with that solid steel shank. It's got a nice black powder coat finish to it so it is going to stand up really well against rusting and corrosion. It's a solid one piece steel so there's no welds, no cuts on it and so it's going to be very strong and very durable. The system is going to include the head assembly, the adjustable shank, you're going to get the lift brackets, uh, you're going to get the trunnion spring bars, the lift chains, all the pins and clips that you need. You're also going to get the shim, you're going to get a uh, hitch ball shank reducer sleeve, and you're going to get the snap up handle. Now when you're setting this up, this portion right here is actually going to be dropped into a lower position. So just like that, it's going to allow you to connect the chains. Now because of the tension that the chains set, it's really hard sometimes to get that back up into position by hand. So they include this nice snap-up handle for leverage. And all you got to do is use that. And it's going to make that a little bit easier to get back up into position. And then once you have it up there, you can secure the lift bracket or the chains in place by reinstalling uh, the safety pin that comes with that. And that's going to hold the chains up and it's going to keep it from being able to come back down. It is going to require a hitch ball. Uh, that's going to be sold separately. In our description you'll see that it requires an inch and a quarter diameter shank. You can also use one with an inch diameter shank, but in that case you will have to use the included reducer sleeve that goes in there. So it reduces that hole from an inch and a quarter diameter down to an inch diameter. The system is going to offer a tongue weight capacity of 600 pounds to 1200 pounds with a gross towing weight of 12,000 pounds. The shank is designed to fit a two inch by two inch trailer hitch receiver that's rated for use with weight distribution systems. Now when positioning the lift brackets, you want to position them about 30 inches back from the hitch ball. So you'll do that measurement on both sides of your trailer frame. And that's the location where you're going to mount this. It's got the set bolt on the back. So all you got to do is tighten that down. It's going to apply pressure, pressure to the inside uh, edge of the trailer frame, which is going to hold the lift brackets in place. The brackets are going to require approximately uh, five and a half inches of space along the trailer frame and keep in mind that they will not fit trailer frames wider than two and a half inches. Here at the shank, you're going to have a shank length of about 14 inches. That's from the center of the hitch pinholes to the center uh, of where the ball mounts. Here on the shank, it's going to have a uh, multiple hole design and the holes are going to be separated by an inch and a quarter. And uh, if I look in there, I can count the holes for you real quick. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. So the shank is a six hole design. Center on center, those holes are going to be separated by an inch and a quarter. That's going to offer a maximum rise of six and a half inches or a maximum drop of an inch and a quarter. And so I already have it set at the lowest position. And uh, it can be flipped over and used in the rise position if you need to for your particular application. I did mention that it comes with a shim. The shim is optional to use. Uh, it's originally designed to take out any gap that you have between the shank and the bracket face here on the weight distribution head. And so you can slide that in there. The holes are going to line up with the big uh, bolts and that way it's just going to take out any gap or any slack that you may have. 
Now when it comes to selecting a weight distribution system, um, you want to be sure that you select the one that's going to be appropriate for your application. So to determine the proper weight rating for a weight distribution system, you must first determine your trailer's tongue weight. That's going to be an important factor. And then you'll add to that the weight of the cargo behind the rear axle of your tow vehicle. Combine those two measurements, and that's going to make up the tongue weight rating for a weight distribution system. And it's going to help guide your decision and make that a little bit easier. Everything is a solid steel construction, has a really nice black powder coat finish on it. So the entire unit's going to stand up really well against rust and corrosion, uh, providing uh, a pretty long life, so you're going to get many years of use out of this system. That's going to do it for our review of part number RP66542. This is the Reese weight distribution system, including the shank and all the hardware that you need.